Honeybees are the only insect that produce food for humans. They pollinate more than 70% of all fruits and vegetables in the United States. About one third of all the plants we eat have been pollinated by bees. A single honeybee will visit 50 to 100 flowers on a single trip. Honeybees fly 15 miles per hour. They will usually travel approximately three miles from their hive. With its marshes, rivers, and historic architecture, Savannah, Georgia is a beautiful, captivating city and a wonderful place to live. Amazing people like Ted Dinner make their homes here, as do many hard-working honeybees. It's the perfect location for Ted to base his Savannah Bee Company and spread his message to save our world's honeybees. The real beginning of getting started with all of this is from the bees um, and getting introduced to them when I was a little boy by this old beekeeper, Roy Hightower. He was this old gentleman uh, beekeeper and he put some hives on our property. On the weekends, I'd go out there and work with him and, and he taught me, I thought at the time, everything there is to know about bees. and. And that's when I really fell in love with honey. Soon after, it kind of died, but left his bees with me, and it was kind of like he passed the torch or baton, unbeknownst to me at that time. In the beginning, when I learned about bees, I loved honey, and just seeing the different color of honey in a frame that you could hold up against the sun. It was kind of like stained glass, and you could taste different colors, and they tasted differently, and I thought that was amazing. Now, um, and for a long time, I've loved honeybees just because they're the most altruistic, noble species on the planet, in my mind. They've co-evolved the plant world for millions and millions and millions of years, and the world today looks the way it does because of this really mutually beneficial coevolution between honeybees and the plant world. Our stores, we try and educate people and have them kind of have an immersion into bees and honey and, and other bee products and why they're good for you. Hopefully also why the bees are good for the environment and, and for, you know, ultimately your, yourself. If they can make that connection, then they, that will lead them to help protect the honeybees. So you end up with that good, mutually beneficial circle, that, like a beehive, that I think is how we should all live in the world. I love, I like, like working with kids. We put some glass beehives in, um, in some schools and the teachers, principals, parents, kids, they loved it so much and, and we're using it as teaching tools. Um, and so last year we started this nonprofit that was called the Bee Calls Project. And it has so far installed about 40, 45 observation beehives in schools. And it's just, it's amazing to see. They want to protect them now. It's just, it's, it's, it's just really working. The bees do a dance to tell where the, where they have found the flowers for the honey. Don't hit them, or they will sting you, and they will die. So don't try and swat them with your hands. That's bad for them. Ted's doing a lot with the bee cause. He's raising a generation of children to know that bees are good. They're nice, fuzzy little creatures that help us so much by pollinating two thirds of our food. And not only that, it's teaching children entrepreneurship and paying it forward because they're raising money for another school to get a hive. And as an entrepreneur, it's cool that he's passing that on too. And then it's dovetailed together into this really cool project. You're given a beehive, can't buy one given it and then you hopefully will raise money to give it pay it forward to another school to see the teachers and the kids uh, just taking it and sort of carrying the baton forward it's it's incredible 
The Bee Cause Project is an excellent way to educate the children about bees and also educate the parents about the bees too because when the, the parents come to visit the media center they see this and then they see the bee cause and then they start reading and asking about it and so it's a wonderful way to get it out to the community, out to the children. So the dream future for the Bee Cause Project would be to have a beehive in a thousand schools and then have it, can just, I don't know, continue and just be a part of education. What if that was just, you know, every new school building just had the place to hook up your little observation beehive because it was such a learning tool, engages the kids in, in learning in a way, um, but as well really helps, you know, push that, that whole importance of the honeybee along. I mean, that would be incredible. And just to see the response that we've already gotten from the ones we've done, I, I could see that happening.